Hey YouTube, it's Tango. Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 5 is here, and it's all about hunting, whether it be the bounty hunters in the battle pass, or it be about hunting your opponents across the map. Before we get started, just a reminder, I stream every Monday through Saturday on Twitch at 8.30pm Central Time. There's a link in the description down below. And while you're down there, hit the subscribe button and make sure you have notifications turned on for this channel so you know when I post a new YouTube video. But let's get to that new season. Oh, they did it. Jonesy. We're still here. Yeah, but the zero point is exposed. You have to go in. Oh, come on. Last thing we need is another snapshot of me inside the loop. No, the last thing we need is someone escaping the loop. You need to get in there and fix it. Understood, ma'am. I'm on it. And in the do bag. not draw the attention of the seven. Jones, three there. Ooh, seven. Seven's back. Looks like the authority. I just need to stabilize the zero point and reseal the bridge, but not let anyone escape. <laughs> Easy, right? Okay. Locate the best hunters across all the eyes. Signatures triangulated and defined. Execute. This better work. Season 5, zero point. Alright, if you guys are going to use a creator code, I strongly suggest you use Tango Dash Cash. Hashtag ad, hashtag epic partner. The first thing to talk about is the Fortnite crew, which gives you a skin called Galaxia, her back bling, her pickaxe, and a thousand V-Bucks this month. This is $12.99 a month, and you get a skin and other items every month right, plus the V-Bucks. Now moving on to take a look at the Battle Pass. The Battle Pass this season starts with the Mandalorian and challenges for him to get upgrades to his armor. You have to get to level 100 before you're able to get all the armor for the Mandalorian. Other things included in the Battle Pass include his ship as a glider. All of the characters in this season are hunters. And one of the new characters included is Reese, and then Reese comes along with several items including a pickaxe, a glider, and this boombox emote called Boomin. Nice, nice boombox. There are also different unlocks for the characters with extra styles. Pancake is the comedy character for this season. One of the things you can unlock with Mancake is also the Syrup Slinger emote where he slings around a syrup bottle and then pours it on his head. It is a built-in emote for him though. And then he also has the Cake with No Name style that can be used later. Maeve is another new character this season. She actually has several different variations that include this Medusa-like character, a little more armor, a reactive tail for when you swim that turns it into a shark's tail, and a heavily armored version that looks like she's ready for battle. Condor is also a new character in this season. As you can see here, he has a very interesting look for him. And then he has this built-in emote for him, and then transforms him into another skin. Lexa has that anime look kind of similar to what used to be in the Borderlands area. But her emote transforms her into an armored hunter. That's After that, there's Menace, who's a gladiator, and he also comes with several different versions of his costume, including a mask, shoulder pads, and then eventually a full helmet and full armor. Then you can actually add on to his helmet with this plume. He also has an emote. This one's not built in. But it's called a Warrior Prepares, which has you digging in the sand. And then the final heavy helmet makes him look kind of like That's a skeleton kind of cool with a lot of armor. The and then the back bling that everyone's looking Level forward to, 100. the child, to go with the Mandalorian skin. And then finally, the Mandalorian Beskar armor that you have, you have to, to quest to complete. complete. There are also several other bonus 
quests that include other styles for characters, contrails, and an extra emote called the mashed potato. Well, there's like all kinds of things for completing quests. One of the big things this season is the changes to the map. The chapter two map is starting to merge with the chapter oh, one I map, so, opening up four new it. named locations. The first is Salty Towers, which is a combination of Salty Springs and Tilted Towers. There's also the Colossal Coliseum, Hunter's Haven, and Stealthy Stronghold. But you'll also notice some other things coming back, including the Durburger, the Pizza Pit, and one of Dusty Depot's buildings. Another big addition to this season is the addition of NPCs all around the map. You can approach these NPCs and get various quests from them to earn gold, which is another new thing this season. Some of the quests include just finding different items, doing certain tasks, or bounties for other people in the game. When you select a bounty, a yellow circle appears on your map showing the general area as to where your bounty is, making it easier to find them. Also new this season, two brand new guns have been put in. One is the Dragon Breath Shotgun. It shoots out four shells per shot, but only one shot before you have to reload. It also starts fires in the general area of where you shoot. The other one is the Amban Sniper Rifle, which is from the Mandalorian TV show. It is a sniper rifle that comes with a thermal scope, making it easier to see your enemies through some builds. There are also new mythic weapons this season, including the Boom Sniper Rifle, the Dub, Shadow Tracker, Nika Hawk, and the Mandalorian Jetpack. These are just souped up versions of existing guns in the game that cause a little extra damage whenever used. Other than new mythic weapons, several other weapons have come back into the game, including the Charge Shotgun, the P90, SMG, Storm Scout Rifle, the Tactical Shotgun, and the Heavy AR. Some of those you have to find from different NPC characters to be able to use. One of the big controversies this season are some of the vaulted weapons, which include the Pump Shotgun. Other things that have been vaulted include the Revolver, the Fire Trap, the Scoped Assault Rifle, Combat Shotgun, and the Tactical SMG. And when it comes to the NPCs, you can actually collect NPCs like you could fish last season. The fishing mechanic's still there to make lists with your friends that you can challenge them to get the biggest fish that they can. But with the NPCs, there's actually a way to collect all 40 of them. They are spaced out around the map, and some of them move to multiple locations, so finding them can be a little difficult. Rather than having the normal weekly challenges that Fortnite has been known for in the past, this time they've added quests, which are constantly ongoing, asking you to do things like shotgun eliminations, sniper rifle damage, AR damage, the normal challenges, but just done a little bit different this season. The gold is also different this season. Fortnite's removed the upgrade benches, and you have to use gold to upgrade when talking to certain NPCs. It also allows you to buy items from the NPCs, or even hire them to be treated as teammates. One other thing you can do with the NPCs is you can challenge them for the weapons that they are carrying. Some of them carry heavy ARs, P90s. It just depends on the character that you talk to and what they do in each location. There's expected to be more characters brought in as hunters, so be on the lookout for more NPCs being added later in the game and possibly some new mythic weapons. One of the big changes to the map is the zero point is in the middle of the map, well above the island. If you glide into the zero point, it will spit you back out, but it will also give you shield. And one of the other big additions is the ability to tunnel through the sand in the middle of the map. You stand still on the sand, you'll eventually sink down into it, and you're able to tunnel out and spring out on people. But there is a little bit of a delay once you pop out before you can actually use your weapon, so be careful with that. The additions to fishing include a rift fish and a zero point fish. The rift fish is just what it sounds like, it's like a rift to go from previous seasons. The zero point fish is also the same as some crystals that can be found in the middle of the map in the sandy area. It gives you the ability to jump and then once you hit a jump again while in the air you will dash in whatever direction you're pushing your character into. Do 
just fell to his death. Good move, dude. Okay, and there you have it. Everything in Chapter 2, Season 5 of Fortnite. There are a lot of differences, but a lot of the stuff we love about Fortnite is still in the game. Just a reminder, I stream every Monday through Saturday on Twitch, 8.30 p.m. Central Time. There's a link in the description down below. And make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel with notifications turned on so you know when I post a new video. And while you're down there doing that, why don't you leave me a comment? What do you think about the new season? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Are you indifferent about it, it doesn't really matter. I just want to know. Let me know. But until next time, I will see you guys soon.